This evening, a big change up at the Powder Mountain Ski Resort to tell you about. The founder of Netflix, Reed Hastings, says he's stepping in because of the resort's financial struggles. Yeah, Hastings is investing and planning to make the resort semi-private, he says. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner breaking down the plan for us. Kate. The plan includes privatizing some of the lifts that already exist here at Powder Mountain, as well as building three new ones to the public. But for people who live and play here in Eden, they say they're not sure how they should feel about this. Seeing my friends, because it's close. I like how it's not really busy. All the fun paths in between the trees that you can do. For the people out hitting the slopes, they say there's a lot to like about Powder Mountain. I think the most we've ever spent in line is maybe five, six, seven minutes. So if you're coming, if you want to go skiing somewhere and get some runs in, this, you can't beat this place. Like others who live in the area, Natalie and Cameron Braithwaite worry about the future of Powder Mountain as it moves to become semi-private. In a statement, Reed Hastings says, quote, we will be designating the village and Mary's lifts, which serve beginner and intermediate terrain, plus a new lift on Raintree for this private skiing starting a year from now. He adds, this summer, we will be investing $20 million in three public lifts. Those lifts include upgrades on Paradise and Timberline, and a brand new lift from the base of Timberline to the top of Lightning Ridge. Though I like the sound of that, no. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. I mean... I'd still ski here if I can have the other half of the mountain. Yeah, if he's going to open up some more lifts, for sure, go ahead. Take those. It'll still be worth it. Yeah, take those. That's fine. We have faith in the new owner. We've communicated with them very well. Weber County Commissioner Gage Frohr says Ogden Valley, where he's lived his entire life and where Powder Mountain is located, is rapidly developing. The big change came after 2002 with the Olympics. He says with the games most likely returning. Growth's going to happen. It's inevitable. So what we basically, as a commission, have looked at is we can't stop growth. The best thing we can do is manage growth. He says they hope the changes to Powder Mountain will improve the resort's success and, in turn, improve the valley. The plan we're looking at now is about upgrade the infrastructure for roads and, and transportation. We look for Powder Mountain, along with anybody else, any other developers to come in to help pay for that. Uh, growth should pay for growth. For now, people are going to enjoy the mountain as they have for years. We love it here. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet spot. We I mean, love uh, skiing here. I think it's one of those things that people are, hey, we don't want it to grow, we don't want it to grow. I think that's silly. I mean, Almost everyone I spoke to out on the slopes today tells me that over the last few years, prices have continually risen, and they're worried that this change will make matters worse. Reporting from Eden, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.